Good morning. Welcome to Faith in the Morning. Something good is going to happen to you today. So expect miracles. Thank you for joining me today. Faith in the Morning exists to help you start your day with faith and encouragement. So I'm so glad that you're watching. However, you're watching the live stream on Facebook or YouTube or Faith Plus or Twitter or uh, listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, watching on Faith Plus On Demand. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to start your day with me and start your day with faith and encouragement. One of the things we started covering earlier this week on the, our daily devotional podcast, we'll pick up and talk about more next week, it's dealing with imposter syndrome. Now we define imposter syndrome as a number of different things, but loosely is defined as doubting, your, or doubting yourself, doubting your abilities, and feeling like a fraud. It's said to disproportionately affect high achieving people who find it difficult to accept their accomplishments. We talk about it's self-doubt. It's connected to possibly a poor self-image and even self-hatred. And we began to address it earlier this week, and we're going to build on what we address. So in Psalm 139, once again, the New Living Translation, Psalm 139, verse 14, Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. So David, under an old covenant, a man who is still sinful, his sins haven't been washed away yet. He hasn't been redeemed and received the gift of grace yet. No, he's under an old covenant. He's still technically a sinner, although he has a covenant with God. Under this old covenant, this man, this man of God, this psalmist, this prophet, this king could say, God, thank you for how you made me. You did a good job. You did a wonderful job. So as I heard you said earlier this week, say again with me. Say, thank you, Father, for how you made me. You did a good job. One more time. Say, thank you, Father, for how you made me. You did a good job. Come on, bonus time. Put it in the chat. If you're watching a place, we can put it in the chat and say it with me out loud. Say, thank you, Father, for how you made me. You did a good job. God did a good job in making you, and you need to believe that. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, and that's one of the reasons, according to the Psalms, you can praise God. God's thoughts toward you are good, and he did a good job in making you. He did a good job in choosing the color of your skin. He did a good job in choosing your facial features. He did a good job in everything he planned for you, how he watched you grow when you're in the womb, what he planned for your life. It is good. And so to go back and say, well, you know, I'm this, I'm that, I'm too dark, I'm too light, I'm too this, I'm too that, that no, God didn't make any mistakes when he made you. His plan for your life is good. And he made you the way he made you. But now we have to address something. Because when we think about Genesis chapter 1, that when God made us, he said good. All that he saw was good. So when he made us, it was good. But what happened when Adam and Eve sinned? Sin nature came into the earth. The curse came into the earth. Death came into the earth. It all came at the same time. And it affected the life we have. It affected the planet we lived on. It affected the spiritual realm around us. And so, so, well, even if David could say, thank you, God, for how you made me on an old covenant, how do we deal with that sin nature? How do, we, how do we wrap our minds theologically around? Do we just ignore it? Or are there still some parts of us that need to be worked on? Are there some behaviors that we need to change? Is there some thinking we need to change that, that we might have grown up? We understand God made us a good job, did a good job, but there's different patterns. Maybe some things that have happened to us that's led us to believe different things and live ways that are below the way God made us. So how do we even begin to address that line of thinking? Go with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I'm going to read it to you one more time. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So the things about you, of the old nature, of the sin nature, of the fallen nature, the things that were bad, the things that were evil, the things that were as a result of the court curse, the result of sin being in this earth, those things were passed away. So what do you need to do? Once you're born again, you need to stop identifying with the sin nature. You need to stop identifying with the things sin has produced. And you need to identify with what the word of God says. Because it says in verse 21, for he made him, talking about Jesus, who knew no sin 
to be sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. See, some people have hard time accepting their accomplishments because they still feel like a failure and they know they have issues. But the thing is, we don't judge ourselves by our own shortcomings. We don't judge ourselves by how we sin. We don't judge ourselves by the mistakes we make. We don't judge ourselves by our past. Because if you put your confidence in your flesh and your own natural abilities, you're going to have a lot of self-doubt. But when you begin to put your faith in what Jesus has done in you, and what Jesus is doing through you and what Jesus will do through you and who Jesus made you to be. When you put your faith and your confidence in that, you'll be able to flourish. If you just put your faith in your own abilities, your education and your body, you will have imposter syndrome all day long. But when you begin to shift your mindset, you already begin, you already know that God did a good job of making you. And then you begin to understand he remade you when you were born again. And what he made you into is a new creation in Christ Jesus that is wonderful. And you begin to put your faith in Jesus and what he's doing in you, what he's done in you, what he will do through you and his plan for your life. And you begin to believe that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. It will free you from imposter syndrome. So before we go, say, Father, thank you for how you made me. You did a good job. Thank you for recreating me in Christ Jesus. Thank you for making me righteous. Now say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Come on, one more time. Say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. One more time. Say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Hey, we're out of time. I'll share more next week on Faith in the Morning. If you haven't already, subscribe to us on YouTube and for our Faith Christian Center YouTube channel or Carrick Butler. Subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify and download our Faith Plus app. We'll pack more of this next week on Faith in the Morning. God bless.